cost of living is funny, it's ghostly, and it's a little sexy. It started from a personal place. There was a point at which a lot of people were passing away and I didn't have the money to attend their funerals. I had no place to live. I was just worried about survival. The first monologue came to me one night after I got fired from a bartending job because I thought I saw $100, which I didn't, but I wish I did in retrospect because I still got fired for it anyways. It's like an hour into doing my taxes and then my agent calls me. He's like, you won the Pulitzer. And I was like, you, that's just not funny. It was 10 minutes that I didn't believe that I that it was true. It's a love story about four very different people that converge in a sort of unexpected way. It's not, this is what it is like to be women disabled or working class. We live our lives with humor and joy and, and beauty and sass and sexuality. And so why not pull from all those experiences? So I'm very excited. <laughs> I, I can't wait.